Blessings, beloved. Now we are getting into DNA activation. This is a very fascinating process. I want to dig into exactly how that occurs within the DNA and the cellular structure, but let us just review that in order for any DNA activation to take hold, in order for this quantum activation to appear as our experience in order to change our cellular structure, we need to change our thoughts, our emotions, our habits, our physical landscape to support the DNA activation as best it can and get into heart coherence in order for all of this to stick. <laughs> and now that we've done that, let's dig into exactly how the DNA is functioning in the cells during DNA activation. Now, DNA activation can occur from many different sources, and we're going through many different tools in order for you to have that experience. But as we build on your experience of DNA activation in this mastery class, let's just go through some of these master tools that the mystery schools used to use in order to feel into the phases of DNA activation and whether or not what they were doing, what we are doing in our mastery process is registering upon the body and upon the light body. So, first step with any of D DNA activation begins with a choice. You're running in a free will operation, so your conscious choice changes everything. That's your awakening, choosing to go on an ascension path, to follow a path of mastery, then you set your pure intention. So they sound similar, but they're actually a little bit different. So the choice can be, oh yeah, I want to try this. Sounds like a choice, right? But the intention comes from the heart. It's your pure intention to actually engage with your own DNA, with the evolution, the ascension process itself that actually sets things into motion. It's telling the DNA to do something new, to experiment with providing experiences through the physical. Now we're already our higher self, we're already our Christed self, we already have those quantum realms available to us, all of us are already source. What's happening here through the ascension process and through our mastery is the ability to hold the pure presence of God, source, love, all of these divine aspects in the physical in realms that don't normally support that. Now the realms are changing. Gaia already has an ascension platform for us to play with. So we are migrating our consciousness and our realities to align with that. But our pure intention sets the DNA, sets the heart intention of, yes, this is going to be the journey where I experience that, or for some of you, experience that again to a higher level. So those of you who have been through the mystery schools in the past, you start reconnecting with those memories because the DNA, of course, is timeless, it's quantum. So it already has the memories of some of those mystery school techniques. So those start coming up as we clear out the subconscious and get all the things out of the way. And we do that through our pure intention. Yes, I want to align with this and I'm going to align everything that I think, say, do, feel, express, and create with DNA activation, with ascension itself. An initiation can occur at any point and they actually come one after the other, once you start get ro rolling with DNA activation, they come pretty frequently. An initiation can feel like that flattened space. It can feel like an aha or a revelation or all of a sudden you're not sure what just happened, but wow, everything just opened up. That's an initiation, which means that the DNA is starting to recoil or rewind in these uh, realign with these sacred geometric proportions. So the alignment occurs at the cellular level. So here's your DNA strand. Hanging out in the cells, you know, again, these are feet long DNA strands in, in, inside of our cells, it's so beautiful. And these microscopic strands start winding and let's put some pictures of what they look like when they start winding in the Taurus field, you can see the microscopic 
images and then how they light up, they become bioluminescent at one point when they start rewinding or creating these torus fields which then become the antennas and they, they overlap. It's not one strand just doing one big loop. They overlap and they wind together and they start coiling in what we call sacred geometric proportions. And the reason why they're called sacred is because they allow for these crossover points to happen at the, at the code level. So at the codon level, where the, where the genetic sequences are happening, there are the, the non-coding part of it, the quantum part of your DNA, starts aligning through this activity, and it starts saying this part of the strand and that part of the strand are now connected, and they open. They actually create wormholes, and they're discovering the wormholes in DNA too. So these wormholes start aligning. And when you get a series of wormholes, just like it works in the cosmic stargate systems, when there is alignment, certain energies can flow through from the great central sun, from our higher levels, from the cosmos, from the sun, from Gaia herself. We're always receiving codes when we get into alignment. And the alignment occurs Yes, within the light body, within the thought patterns and the emotions and everything that we're doing. But at the cellular level, all of that, all of that energy and that intention and the initiations allow us to experience this alignment. And it opens up these wormholes, these stargates right within ourselves. And that, yes, it's generated and directed through the heart, which it becomes its own cosmic stargate. But when it comes to the DNA activation itself, this is what's happening. So that coiling activity, that winding activity that becomes the torus, then becomes a giant antenna for, for the one bundle of DNA to talk to the other DNA, and we'll get into that in activation. And then this is what's happening at that microscopic level with these codes starting to open up and align. And you might even see it as codes overlapping with each other and when they click into place, it's just like a cosmic stargate. If you're a gatekeeper and you're working with cosmic stargates, there's almost like dials sometimes with light codes. And when they align, something happens. And then you move it and something else happens. And it's consistent. And that is what's happening at the cellular level. So again, we have the reflection of here we are at the cellular level reflecting the cosmos, getting re intertwined, reintroduced, rewoven into the cosmic fabric once again. So that step provides the activation, and the activations can be quite strong depending on your light level, the level of consciousness that you have within your heart, the heart coherence, depending on your journey, they will get stronger and stronger. Sometimes the higher self will go, we have to keep, we have to catch up, and because the cosmic influxes are so strong right now and the plasma is getting so, um, so beautiful and so strong right now. And it's really sending us these source codes now that if you're open enough, the higher self might kind of push for an activation. And those activations can either flatten you or open up your, your ascension column or open up your heart. Or you might be flatlined for a couple of days. It's fine. You know, it's fine. But with activation, there always comes purification. That can be purification of the light body, purification of the physical body, especially in the beginning. DNA activations clear things, not just the emotional fields, but they clear cellular structures. They'll oust dead cells or dying cells or cells that cannot support the higher level of light. And then you end up getting ill or nauseous or you have to lay down. You know, those are typical side effects. I'll go through some of the side effects too in the slides of, uh, of this purification activity, the side effects of DNA activation. And then after this purification phase, because higher light comes in, clears out what doesn't match it, and then when we hold it, when we're keeping ourselves consistent in our mastery, then we have the integration. So integration is, again, a conscious process what did I learn? What do I have to change? What is this showing me? We stay very conscious in our mastery. In the early phases of awakening, you're just kind of 
dipsy doodling through the ascension process going, I don't know, I guess I'm just keeping up. I guess I'm getting activated. I don't know. But when you make it a conscious process and not just being swayed by the winds and the waves of evolution, when you become conscious, and again, your pure intention to become a master, to serve in that way, to become the pure presence of your highest self, of your God self, in form, in these realms, that's the integration. And we're like, okay, we need to review what just happened. And it doesn't matter. It's not a mental level thing. It's what did I feel? Is this showing any anything that I need to work on? Is this showing me anything that I need to adjust? And this is time related too, which we'll get into the next module, but you're collapsing a lot of your old timelines or your old trajectories as you level up throughout this process. So then we have the expansion. All right, I want to expand into this next level of my DNA in order to hold it, in order to keep that agreement, in order to keep that intention, that choice. Yes, DNA, let's go for it. So you want to make sure that the expansion is expansion into this next level of self. We all feel different as we go through DNA activation. So in order to keep up with the higher self taking over the journey, which is embodiment, we need to let go. What do I need to surrender to? What do I need to expand into? You know, feel into the, the expansion of what the higher self, what the over soul, is starting to provide through DNA activation. Our DNA is a very intelligent thing. It will only give us what is good for us. It is very intelligent, so it's only going to give us the level of activation that we can handle in that moment. And when you start to consciously call in higher levels of light, it will give you you know, what, what do you need to look at? What do you need to be shown? And some people can stay in one phase for you know, years, but right now we're in such an acceleration and because this is a mastery class, that is your next phase, expansion. Okay, now that I've looked at through the integration phase what I need to change, now I'm expanding into my next level of creator self. What does that look like? What does that feel like? Do I need to just integrate by being out in nature? Now we'll go through integration too. Recalibration, so you have a recalibration of all systems light body level, cellular level, mental level, emotional level. There is a recalibration and these can be very subtle in the beginning and then the more light you're able to handle, the more codes you're able to handle, again the DNA being very good about being directed by the higher light intelligence that it's interfacing with, which is you, your higher self, there's a recalibration and these may be very subtle little subtle adjustments, but they do get more and more direct as we go through the ascension process. And in your mastery, sometimes you reach a light level and they're subtle for a while and then, wow, you know, everything changes or your, your consciousness again. Pay attention to how it feels, what your awareness is, what's happening in your meditations. What do you need? What needs to change? Pay attention to the recalibration. And then there's alignment. So you clicked in to that next level of light, and then you go back to receiving another DNA activation. And the DNA activations, if something doesn't stick, of course, if the heart's not aligned or the body can't take it, or you go back to looping behavior because you're like, oh my gosh, that was way too weird. Let me just go back a step. It's fine in your mastery. You know, we always try to move the needle forward. But, um, but if, if you find that uh, you couldn't align at that next light level, it's absolutely fine. Just review what it is that, uh, that you need to do because it's always going to show you aches, pains, I need to move more, emotional, mental chatter, okay, I need to meditate more, I need to feel my higher self more, that visualization. And in all of these modules, those Commands and invocations are provided as a mystery school, mastery school step for you to start allowing that higher light to register in the physical vehicle and retrain the thoughts and retrain the heart to be the boss. You know, heart brain coherence is lovely, but the heart is going to take over 
everything. And the heart actually has brain cells to command that forth. And you're going to feel like one big heart, one big higher intelligence as we go through this embodiment process, which is lovely because then it overrides everything else, which is quite uh, extraordinary. So at this point, let's get into the slides in, in this next video that are going to reveal to us uh, levels of DNA activation, the how-tos and the side effects of DNA activation.